the principal architect of the intelligence uh, for the Balakot camp of uh, Jaish e Mohammed uh, and uh, maybe even LET was is sitting here right next to me. So a round of applause for him. <laughs> he was the one who uh, had sources inside that camp who got photographs of the layout of the camp and the courses that were being run by Jaish e Mohammed uh, for the uh, jihadis there and who were being trained to uh, be suicide bombers by killers and uh, you know um, terrorists to come into India and uh, act against India. So that those photographs, those coordinates, uh, that grid uh, which was available because of his work and because of what he had done, uh, the Indian Air Force could now actually then come up with, with in coordination with the RNAW and of course the decision makers like the Prime Minister, the National Security Advisor to home in on to um, the target, uh, a possible target that is the Balakot camp, which was inside Pakistan, as you said, and not Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir, which uh, technically or emotionally is supposed to be India's territory, right? So uh, the signal was uh, supposed to be sent, to, a message needed to be sent to Pakistan that uh, you, you can hit us, but we can hit you uh, as well and well inside uh, your own territory. So therefore, Balakot was chosen and therefore that intelligence was extremely important. Without that intelligence, without the numbers of people that were as assessed to be there and the kind of you know, assembly of all the terrorist uh, groups and their leaders and their cadres, uh, that would have been futile. So therefore, Balakot. So the coordination was extremely important and the decision had to be finally taken, which resulted in the Balakot strike, a spectacular strike in many ways. I am saying this in one, one, one more line to add. That even if not one terrorist was killed in the Balakot strike, let's say, as people have claimed, only a tree was hit and a crow was killed, as they say, or a cow was killed. Uh, even if that was true, uh, it still has significance in the India-Pakistan relationship, the security dimension, because India sent a message to Pakistan that we have an option of escalating without you retaliating uh, the nuclear or taking the nuclear option, which Pakistan always used to threaten before this. So calling the bluff was important and this was also the changing of the red lines in the minds of the Indian decision makers was extremely important. So far, Indian decision makers at the highest level, the Prime Minister's office and uh, the National Security Advisor and others were always afraid of crossing the Rubicon, if I can call it that. I think that was the importance of Balakot.